Hey learners, how are you today? Good to see you. Today I want to talk to you about why I don't think kids need toys. Before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. I'm trying to grow this channel and you are a big part of that, so I appreciate your support. Go ahead and also like or comment at the end of this video if it was helpful to you or just slightly entertaining. Lauren learns that her kids don't need toys. This has been an ongoing learning process for me. I just, I see these different moments throughout my kids' little lives and I go, why? Why do we have toys? For a while now, my friend Joanna and I have been texting each other back and forth funny pictures of what our kids have been playing with that usually just include random household items. Like this one. My daughter found this, named him George the Fox, and made a little bed for him. Here was what she was playing with. And then here's another picture of my daughter playing with sock puppets. Piper. <laughs> my daughter was playing with sock puppets in this one. All these moments that I come to find just leave me scratching my head going, why do we spend money on toys? Granted, my husband and I don't spend a lot of money on toys. We tend to stick to the birthday Christmas rule. And a lot of times we'll wait for those events before we get our kids something they've been asking for. So it's a really exciting big deal for them. But I do find that the moments and seasons where we've had a lot of toys floating around, they're almost too overwhelmed to play with any of them. So they would revert to a cardboard box, some sticks outside, my colander as a hat. Does anyone want a free cat? <laughs> no, just kidding, you can't have her, she's the best. So our kids just find these random items around the house and at first I was kind of annoyed by it because I'm like, dude, like you guys have all these toys upstairs and you're not playing with any of them. And then I took a step back and thought, wait a minute, they're using their brains for creativity and they're role playing and they're, they're doing fun games that they made up themselves. And so I'm like, I can't get mad at that. Most of the time now, I, I get pretty pleased when I see my kids playing with random things. I don't like when they don't clean up after themselves, but it's still pretty cute to watch them try to create. So oh, it's an ongoing learning process for us around here. But like I said, we try to keep toys to a minimum. And we've also, I'm learning to keep my kids as a part of the process. When we are tidying up and we are purging things and getting rid of clutter, I like to keep them in the loop so they don't feel like we're throwing all their stuff away. So I, I think if we give the responsibility back to our kids, they're more than happy to to get rid of some of the excess that they don't need. We might find that our attachments to the toys are stronger than theirs are, even are. To them, it's just stuff. And whether it be a kitchen colander or a brand new Hot Wheels track, it's just, it's, it's something else to keep them entertained and learning. So I'm learning to get rid of my attachments to their, their things and let them just be kids and have fun and get messy, which is a lot of part why I started this channel. They're always teaching me about how to make mistakes in a good way and not be afraid to fail and use what they have around them. So if you also like to have a tidy space or keep toys to a minimum, go ahead and uh, like or comment down below so I know that you've been watching this and getting something out of it. I love to get to know you guys as viewers. I'm excited to continue to do videos like this too. Let me know if you have any further ideas. But on that note, go get messy, have fun, learn, and I will see you on Friday.